So how are you feeling with the overwhelm? Is the meditation and the breathing helping you? Have you walked away and got some new perspective? Today I want to add something new to that, and that's the idea of saying no. We often don't think we can say no, but we can, and it is possible. And there's different ways of being able to say it. And that is the simple thing of not using the word but, but using the word and. For example, if somebody asks you to do something and you go, sorry, I can't, but, you know, like, leave me alone. It's very aggressive, you know. I, you can't do it. You're brushing somebody off. I can't do it. Sorry, but no, you know. Whereas if you use the word and, you can be inclusive and it's much softer and it's a much easier way to say no. For example, you could say, I appreciate why you're asking me that. And right now, it's not possible. I don't have the time. Do you see how much softer that is? Now, if you're in a situation where you actually have a different solution for it, you could add that on the end. So you could say, I appreciate why you're asking me to do that. And right now, I don't have the time. However, if you want me to make it top of the priority, I could do that, but I couldn't do this other thing that I'm working on. Which would you prefer? You get a win-win all round. Now this isn't just about a work situation, this could be in your relationships, it could be with your family, with your friends. It's about using the word no when your heart really wants to say no. That way you gain your time, you're focusing on what you want to do in your life and you will.